Hello and welcome to another tutorial on DWGC. So today's uh, tutorial will be about isothermal flash distillation. <clears throat> so we have this problem coming from uh, separation process principle, second edition by Cedar and Henley. So the problem states that in the high pressure and high temperature thermal hydro alkylation of dolomium benzene excess Hydrogen is used to minimize the cracking of aromatics to light gases. In practice, conversion of tolerant per pass to a reactor is only 70%. So it is desired to separate and recycle hydrogen at reactor fuel at vapor at a rate of 5597 5, km per hour at 500 PSI and 275 Fahrenheit. And it is partially condensed to 120 Fahrenheit with product phases separated in a flush drum. If the components, if the composition of the uh, reactor effluent are as follows, which is given in the table below, and the flush drum pressure is at 485 psia, calculate the composition and flow rates of the vapor in the liquid, leaving the flush drum and the amount of heat that must be transferred. So before we solve this uh, problem, we might want to recall how to solve it uh, analytically. So the problem uh, makes use of the rashford dries uh, equation. So we have this uh, feed which passes through the heat exchanger and goes through a pressure relief valve and then a flash drum in which the uh, vapor and the liquid states of this uh, separator are in equilibrium with each other. That is why the relationship yi is equal to ki xi satisfies the equation. So this is the Rashford-Dry's equation. So initially you have to determine the k values of each components. And of course, you must know the uh, feed composition as well. So, this uh, symbol is uh, defined as the ratio of the vapor to the feed stream or uh, the fraction of uh, feed that is vaporized in the flash drum. So anyway, we are not concerned about this solving analytically because it will take a lot of time for us to do so, especially uh, in evaluating this, this expression and uh, finding the key values. So what we're going to do is to do the calculation in a process simulator. Okay, so once we are in the DWC, let's go and click create new simulation. And uh, as we expect, the wizard will uh, pop up. And we click next and we add the component as follow in the problem. So we add hydrogen. Methane. Benzene and then toluene. Okay. Click next, and these are all the available property packages. In the problem, uh, we have uh, used uh, Peng Robinson, SRK, and Lee Kessler. So, in this particular problem, we just have to choose. Uh, Robinson and then we have to choose our uh, units so I'd like to go with uh, C5 so but you can choose any units that you want okay so once you are done you can add the material stream here and so once we are on the stream here we can go and add the compound amounts uh, as hydrogen is uh, 0 0.3177 0 0.5894 for the methane and for the benzene 0 0.0715 and for the tonium 0 0.0214 and click accept changes we have known that the uh, temperature to the uh, cooler is of course 
275 Fahrenheit at a pressure of 500 PSIA and a mass flow of I'm sorry it's a molar flow of 5597 kilomoles per hour 5597 kilomoles per, per hour so now the inlet stream or the feed stream is now fully specified we can add the uh, exchanger or the cooler so once we have the cooler it must have also an outlet stream and an energy stream so it is specified in the problem that the feed must be partially condensed to 120 Fahrenheit so we go to the cooler and specify the inlet and the outlet and the energy stream so the calculation parameter must be set to outlet temperature and the outlet temperature is given as 120 okay, Fahrenheit okay. so as you can see it will now solve for the uh, outlet stream and the energy stream required to uh, cool the uh, mixture to 120 Fahrenheit the next thing that we, we may want to do is to send it to a flash drum to separate the vapor and the liquid streams so the flush drum pressure is at 485 psia okay so the flush drum is a gas and liquid separator okay um we need to add two streams here for the vapor in the liquid and an energy stream so we can rename this as v for vapor and l for liquid so when you click on the phase separator it will ask you for the connections on the inlet stream but since we only have one inlet stream we just click on the inlet stream one and choose mstr002 there and the vapor stream is v and we just have to click on the light liquid stream there and the energy stream is of course 0 0.0007 the str plus 007 uh take note that we are uh, using a uh, we are using an isothermal flash separator so it is known that the uh, temperature in the separator is the same as the temperature in the feed to the flash separator which is 120 Fahrenheit so we click on the override uh, separator temperature and we type 120 Fahrenheit and override uh, separator, separator temperature as uh, 485 psi So let's go and uh, check for the uh, values of our uh, vapor stream and we go to the result and you will see the amount of the uh, components in the vapor phase. So you can choose small fraction and mass or whatever you want. I'm going to check over the uh, mole flows because that is the uh, the result of the uh, problem so on the book it says that the hydrogen is 177 4.9 on Penning Robinson correlation 3278 okay that's very near it's correct and 62 and a total of flow rate of a total molar flow rate of 5122.7 and we have 5121.48 which is uh, very near the result and we have this uh, of course uh, the liquid stream should be having a total molar flow rate of 487 kilomoles per hour so we have 400 i'm sorry it's 474.3 on peng robinson it is on the srk that is uh, 487 so we have uh, 474 is very near the 
calculation but it varies from the type of simulator that you have so there you can also check the compound amounts or let's just go to the result for the verification of the uh, composition of the liquid flow rate so we have mole mass whatever you want so that will be all for today and thanks for watching